Hello and welcome to this channel. I am Rafael Ademo. In today's tutorial, I'll be describing a method that you can use to extend the functionality or appearance of VBA user forms and make it more user friendly at runtime. When you compare VBA user forms to user forms in Visual Basic 6, C Sharp, or .NET framework, and the rest, VBA user forms have rather limited capabilities and it does not appear very much enhanced at runtime. This tutorial will show you how you can use Windows Application Programmatic Interface, also known as API, to extend and customize the VBA user forms. API functions are part of Windows operating systems and procedures. They give you access to capabilities that are not available for VBA or user forms that is used to create VBA projects. When you use APIs in your application, you are only bypassing and calling directly upon Windows operating system to provide you with the particular functionality that the API calls for. If you take a look at the title bar of this user form, it comes only with the close button without the maximize and minimize button as you would have it in the main Excel and other Microsoft Office applications. As a result of this, users of our VBA applications do not have flexibility and better user experience. And it also leaves you the VBA developer not entirely satisfied with the work that you have created. Even though you are capable of developing amazing applications using VBA. Let me close this user form and then open user form 2. When you take a look at the title bar of this user form 2, it comes with the minimize button, the maximize button as well as the close button. And this will allow the user to interact with the application in any way that he or she likes by clicking on the maximize and on the minimize button. This has been made possible by writing a code that calls on the Windows API at runtime. I will provide a link for you to download these lines of code in the comment section. Copy and paste the code as directed and then run the user form. Let's close here and go into the Visual Basic Editor and learn how the code works. So to do that, let us insert a new user form by going to the insert and then insert a new user form. Let us change the background color to this and double click on the user form to take us to the codes. So let me clear this and go to where I have downloaded and save the code and open it. I've opened the code in the Visual Studio Editor. So what I'll have to do is to copy this line of code from here, come down here. and here and then copy it out copy and then come into the and paste it here so let me paste it here let me explain what actually happens when this api is called upon when you run these codes the windows operating system uses what is known as the window handle as a unique identifier to identify attributes used by the operating system to identify a particular window. And this is often written in this way, HWND. Every window or application managed by the window operating system has a class name that is associated with it. This class name has nothing or whatsoever to do with the file name that you choose to save your file or user form. All user forms have the same class name and this class name is used to identify a set of properties shared by all windows with the same class name. For example, the main Excel application window has a class name Excel main. So with these declarations, the window handle of the operating system is called upon to search for attributes that have the minimize and maximize buttons that is stored in the memory allocated to the window. You can also decide to use API codes that you can use to hide the properties of the windows, such as displaying or hiding the 
minimize and maximize button by changing the values of the windows property as it will be demonstrated in my next tutorial on how to remove or hide user form title bar this code uses the api function to find the window handle of a user form based on the class name of the user form and then and read and modify memories that is associated with that particular window the values that have been located by the window handle is assigned as a string this line of code uses the find window api function and looks at the attributes that is having the maximize and minimize button and once it is sure that the property have been found and have a valid window handle then the get window is called to access the windows configuration memory and finally it passes the values that have been found onto the set window long to modify the values of the user form when we run the code we still have only the close button here let us close and exit and go back to our codes and this time around let us copy this line of code right from here to here and copy it and then go into our user form and this time around click on user form activate or initialize and paste the code in between the sub what these lines of code is doing is that it is essentially calling on this constant that we have set up here to run anytime the window is activated or initialized so let let us run the user form once again to see what happens so this time around you see that when the user form is run we have the minimize button the maximize button as well as the close button present here and we can toggle we can interact with each one of the buttons so let's minimize restore and then let's maximize restore it and then minimize and then also restore it and then we can also close it so we can see that by using this api we have been able to add the minimize and maximize button to our user form and i hope this will aid you in the design of your user forms thank you for staying and spending your precious time to learn how you can add the minimize and then maximize button to your vba user form title bar do not forget to subscribe to be the first to be notified when i release another exciting tutorial on excel vba please give me a thumbs up if you have found this tutorial exciting informative and educative as well your comments suggestions and advice are highly welcome so please do not forget to give me one thank you and bye bye for now